Hi everyone, welcome to episode 23 of Catch Up with Max and Jose. We're back, baby. It's been a while. <laughs> what was it, last October was the last time we posted? Last October, and I think it wasn't even a real episode. I think you did your, um, the Forbidden Flavors chip oh, episode. Oh, that's so right. That's like, you know right. What? Let's, this one is good. I kind of hit a, a period where work was kind of crazy. Uh, Been but, busy. Yeah, so it was got, got very busy, and then, you know, our wedding. Was got there. married. We got married on October 8th. And Christmas, you can't do anything yeah, during Christmas. Yeah, a holiday. Especially because, I'm like, around the holidays, I was putting out two episodes a week, so mm -hmm. I didn't have any time. Yeah, so it's, it, and then the move, you know, we, we left Burbank. Uh, we moved to William Hills. But anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I kind of really just want to do this as like a, the great update. Just kind of get back to it. The and, great update. <laughs> and just say thank you to everyone because um, I haven't posted anything and somehow the subscriber count is, is still growing. Though you've started posting shorts. I've been posting shorts. Uh, so Max is on TikTok, so you can follow him there. Um, like the kids are. And on Instagram, uh, Tasting History with Max Miller. I'm also there, but all I do is post dumb memes. And uh... He's actually a lot more interesting to follow <laughs> than I am. <laughs> Uh, but it, you can follow me. I'm yeah. so curated. World against Jose, uh, just for dumb memes. But um, I've been posting your shorts that you've been doing on TikTok and Instagram on my, just because the yeah, YouTube algorithm's kind of funky. The way it treats it, like it affects how views come into your regular Tuesday episodes. So. Oh yeah, no, I, I won't post them on mine. I posted one. Actually, technically, I've posted two shorts. One was by accident, and the second one was was up for a little while and then it just people didn't like it and so i just took it down and yeah i was like that's not that's not for me and that's why a lot of big channels even i think mr beast and stuff when they do shorts they make a whole second channel because youtube does not yeah, it doesn't work well they're still trying to figure it yeah. out it's not really monetized properly but you know like it does get out there there's a lot of reach potential there uh yeah but you know we're, we're fussing with it and like i said that's why he's back on TikTok, trying to, you know, bring in a new audience and maybe try and convert them over to YouTube if they like Max or like history or food or. So it's 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 basically if you watch the YouTube video, you're seeing everything that's on TikTok because I just do like condensed versions. Yeah. So you know, it's nothing new. People on the go. Um, exactly. <laughs> like I said, the kids. Yeah. Sorry. You know Gen what? Z. Clearly, there's a lot to catch up on. So it's like, all right, let, let's 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 focus on what we've been doing. The last half year before we start moving forward on what we're doing yes. now. So, yes. Our wedding. So somewhere in you know on the screen, I, I just want to put up some pictures of you know everything we did. So we got married on October eighth uh, in uh, Oahu, Oahu, uh, Waimanalo Beach. It was a super windy day and everyone's hair was, was flying about. It was madness. Yeah. But it was beautiful, and because it was super windy. There was like nobody else there. <laughs> nobody wanted to go to the beach, so it was a private beach. Yeah, no, it was fantastic, and it was very small. Uh, yeah, it was just family, wedding. couple friends. And my one demand, I think, if people remember from earlier episodes, is that I really wanted a big wedding cake, and I did get it. Uh, I posted a picture on socials, but it was three layered cake, you know, with the uh, strawberries and cream. Uh, carrot cake. Carrot cake was at the bottom, was the densest, and then we had coconut cream in there. Oh, so. So good. Uh, <laughs> and the second thing is, so because we wanted a big cake just to look at, it was for like a hundred people, but we only had like twenty people at the wedding, so there was a lot of cake left over, and we were flying out the next day or two days later. So we, we had cake for breakfast the next day and lunch, but that was my one bride to last, and I am happy and it looks fantastic, and no regrets on my end. <laughs> it was good times. Yeah, and uh, and then from there we were in. Uh, <clears throat> You know, we were there a few days, but then we, we hopped over to Maui. Yeah, that was lovely. Yeah, and then Maui, we were just through different locations. We did the road to Hana, which is quite the drive. It was kind of like our last stretch. Our the idea was just kind of chill there and not do anything. But when I said doing nothing, I kind of expected to do a little something. <laughs> Jamie just got a new rug, and he's loving it. <clears throat> so cute. Sorry, I, I get distracted by the cat. That's why I actually have to lock up the cats when I'm filming, because oh. I'll get distracted. <laughs> um, but yeah, so 
that that was back in October. So we're actually planning uh, our vacation for this year, or our joint vacation, because you are going to Scotland uh, with my brother to uh, make haggis and do some film some other videos. So it's it's all for the channel. It's not going to be much of a vacation, but it's still going to be a blast. Uh, so if anyone's in Scotland at the end of August. In the middle of nowhere, because we're not really doing any of the big cities. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> we're doing like Isle of Skye and stuff like that. Oh, oh Isle of Skye. Is that... You haven't talked about that in an episode, have you? I'm thinking of... The, I mentioned it, is actually. That the, is that the wine glass <clears throat> island? It's not, is it? Yes. It is? Okay. So that is where um, Bonnie Prince Charlie, after the Battle of Culloden, escaped to the Isle of Skye. And one of my favorite songs ever is about that. It's called Sky Boat Song. It's beautiful. I'd probably play it. I bet you know it. Really? Yeah, I bet you know it. I'm saying it's like if I could afford the rights to it, but... Oh, yeah, no. no. <laughs> well, the, the song, it's, a, it's just the performance that oh, you have to okay. pay for. That's what I said. I bet you can find it. Anyway, so we're going back to Hawaii this year, uh, our actual joint vacation. Uh, I've never seen a volcano. We're going to see the volcanoes on the big island. Yes. I will push Max and ask for a better 2023. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that movie Joe versus the Volcano? No, you won't. No. I remember that. No. It was an old Tom Hanks movie. That's what I'm picturing this trip is going to be like. Okay. Should anyone I should anyone I who's older than I am might remember Joe versus the Volcano. All right. But yeah, so uh, we will be on the Big Island. The Big Island. Uh, when? October? I don't know yet. October, October probably. October-ish. All right. Come say hi. Uh, but yeah, so that's what, uh, so that was our wedding. Um, and no regrets so far, I guess. Rude. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else have we done since? We moved. That's the that's the big yeah. thing. Then, then we did nothing for a long time. We ha it was the holidays. Yeah, it was, it was the holidays. holidays. And then we moved. We moved a few months ago, and uh, that's just been a lot of of work. You know, setting up a new house and yeah, contractors and let's talk everything. about house hunting. House hunting is not fun. Don't do it. More <laughs> so in, in the market of the last you know half year. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, you know, interest it's rates are all over the place. It's definitely a seller's market. It's very expensive and. For people who uh, who don't have all cash on hand, it's just which we don't. It's just very competitive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was interesting because it's like I never want to do this again. Like I never want to like house hunt. We're living here forever. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I love our home, but um, just falling in love with the place and then it just ruins every other house after that because it's like yeah. If I in love with a place that house that yeah. was clearly out of our budget or people would just have way more money come, than we did come and sweep <laughs> in it's terrible I, I think it happened like i think it only happened like twice or something but it, it felt like a breakup or something some every way. time you didn't get the house yeah it's like, like you fall why? in love what's then, wrong with me and then they're dumping you and it, was, it was just weird <laughs> I, I, I don't yeah i don't recommend it but oh uh, i think we closed at the end of april or that's yeah and now we have a house and so all's well that ends yeah, well yeah but you know it's, turned out Turned out good. Definitely very busy period. Uh, you know, we had the roofers, new roof. He's just making excuses for why he hasn't <laughs> had a catch up with Max and Jose in That's forever. That's not excuses. I still put out videos every These Tuesday. These are all valid reasons, and I still have my full time job at Disney. Thankfully, um, I had a very busy um, last couple of months. Uh, I worked on Doctor Strange, uh, the marketing aspect of it. It was my first theatrical campaign as a manager. And I think it was a very fantastic campaign. It was the 11th biggest U.S. opening. So, clap on the back Bravo. for me and my team. <laughs> so, we were very excited for that. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi just wrapped. So, that was another success. Um, now I get to kind of, like Thanos did, just kind of kick back and relax for a bit until something else comes along. And... Until somebody comes and cuts your head off. Yeah. Uh, so, but it's going to be a very busy fall, I think. So, but I'm very excited. So... And we're now wearing Miss Marvel. It's not my campaign, but I, I'm really enjoying Miss Marvel right it's good now. Show. Uh, but down the road, we have Andor, the Star Wars series. Uh, it's a five years before Rogue One. And then the Bad Batch season two is coming back uh, later in the fall, too. So look forward to that. And I'll be pushing those out. I think it just, if you hear me talking about it, it's like, okay, he's working on those. Anyway. But um, outside of that, I think work's been great. Our team grew and I got my work life balance back. And I've been putting a lot of time to the home. I've been doing a lot of gardening. So yes, Max he has, has become been... quite the gardener. 
I've been wa watching a lot of YouTube, same as you guys. You know, like you guys watch Max for History. I've been watching a lot of Epic Gardening. Uh, this guy Kevin, he has one point something million. He's fantastic. I've been taking a lot of tips from, uh, just not that I'm growing any vegetables right now, but just but in what general. did you buy today? <laughs> I bought a pepper plant. Uh, Pepper you know, and borage, right? Yeah. Well, I bought borage seeds, and you know, medieval I, herb. Yeah, honeys, uh, bees love it. Uh, you know, attracts a lot of bees, and oh, there's a lot of we had bees. Oh God, there's so much to. It was like about. every time you think that something's done, we 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 like got up in one morning, and it turns out a beehive was being made in our yeah, backyard. Yeah, they were they were setting up, and, and our backyard is not big enough to have a beehive. Like yeah, and honestly, I wouldn't have minded so much. I'd be like, I'll just avoid that corner. But they were in the pool pump area yeah, no, that i'm in like, no. every few days yeah. so it's like this isn't gonna work out like it's gonna mirror you and i think yeah. it's me no wait it's you <laughs> <laughs> it was all the bees <laughs> all hundreds of them so uh we had an uh it's not exterminator but um animal yeah no we didn't out. kill the bees like hey it's actually really cool it's they just like smoke, smoke them they them get out. drowsy and then they leave voluntarily i was trying this other method where uh apparently they don't like the smell of cinnamon it's like really strong for them so and now our backyard smells like cinnamon <laughs> the pool area is lovely like cinnamon. <laughs> but you know if you put cinnamon powder over, over days like eventually like they're like all right i'm out this place sucks but i was getting i was getting so much anxiety like i would wake up in the morning like oh my god the bees are still there what are the bees like, doing like, they're still here so um so thankfully max just like he just called the uh, animal control and that it's was dealt it. with um but anyway back to gardening uh I just kind of started. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Like we have a lot of hibiscus in the hibiscus. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of hibiscus in the gardens. I planted a lot. You know, a lot of different colors. Um, I plant some plumeria, so you can find them in Hawaii. And just in general, I want like half of the garden to be kind of like tropical and stuff. So, but you also have to take into account that it's summer and we're, we're in a drought. We're, we're in a drought, and where we live. Apparently, it's the hottest part of the valley, yeah, which it's warm. I didn't know about until we bought the place. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, yeah, you're in the hottest. It's like, it's not the hottest, but it's one of the hottest. That all everyone keeps saying. It's like, oh, it's By the like hottest place. a couple degrees. Everything is hot out Yeah. There. Once you hit 99 degrees, it's hot. Like, yeah. who cares? <laughs> you're dying. Um, but yeah, so no, I've been doing a lot of gardening. Um, uh, and if anyone has any tips or any suggestions of what I should be growing, there's the place is still working development. The first plant I bought was a wisteria. It's not the Chinese wisteria, but there's a giant dead tree in our yard that I kind of want it to like envelop, and maybe eventually give me purple, beautiful blooms. So or not, I don't know. It hasn't died yet. So no, it's doing it, great. It's doing pretty well. <laughs> everything we we've, we've planted, everything he's planted, pretty much has done well, no. except for a couple things. Turns out Home Depot does not have the hardiest plants. Yeah, they all die. So when you're paying less for it, there's a reason. It's because they're not the hardiest plant. They're, or they've been sitting there, or like when you remove the root ball or like it's like there's a lot of roots there and that just means it's been sitting in that pot for so long yeah and eventually you're supposed to like move these over to bigger plots or plant them in the ground because they have you know the root systems are so large and um so yeah they're just not the best plants uh I, we've been going to a nursery in our area but you know you're paying a little more for a little hardier plant but they live <laughs> but so they live, it's so, worth it so i'm like okay it's like well let me buy an expensive one it's like you save and five a, bucks a, but it's no dead no tomorrow. it's almost double the price in case, some cases but yeah. um my blueberry plants are not doing as great and you know what it's probably not the best area you know i looked up into like the hardiness zones or like zone 9b which is pretty warm so um it's also it's like, also summer, so it's, it's not like, a good time to plant. It's just stuff. not the best time. I, yeah. uh, from what I've read, a lot of plants you should be kind of planting in the fall, let them get settled in, and come spring, here we are, you know. So come back in spring, and we'll have a gorgeous <laughs> garden. Yeah, because uh, I planted a cherry tree and it, oh, a cherry stick. It's a stick. And some leaves came out, and I was like, yes. And then they got hot, and, and then they fell off, and we're out. And I was like, no. It's a stick again. So I bought like some sunscreen protector. I don't know. Anyway, so. I'm not going to start a second YouTube channel to gardening because I'm an amateur and clearly, maybe in a couple years, clearly I can't keep up with maybe my own in channel. A couple, no, that's not so, true. <laughs> so, um, but again, on Instagram, you, you can see some of my gardening adventures that we've been up to. But anyway, so that's been a lot for me. Uh, someone did tell me that I am not the star that you are. So that's part of the reason I also step back. But that's part of being on YouTube. People will leave mean comments. And they were nice. They do leave mean comments. And they were nice about it, too, though. 
and that's why I took extra offense. <laughs> wow. So they, they, wow. They, they approached me in such a nice, polite way that I was just like, you know what? Well, usually, you're right. it, to be fair, it usually <laughs> is all about me. I, you know. Yeah, no. Even on your the channel. The whole reason I made this I answer questions and everything you. like that. Yeah. But um, this one Yeah, is... well, this one's a catch-up episode. I know there's a lot. Um, but back to you for a bit because you're the reason of, of the season of the channel. Um, reason for, <laughs> for the, the season. season. <laughs> um, your, your upcoming episode, can you say what it is about? Because I'm assuming I'm assuming I'm releasing this. Which one? I'm working on like four episodes. Okay, can you can you make the one after this ketchup, a history of ketchup, and I make white ketchup. Spoiler alert, it's not white, but it was really it interesting. Like sewage, I think. Well, but it tastes good. Pretty close. Tastes interesting. Um, tastes interesting. And uh, yeah, it has an interesting history because it started in the Far East, as as. Basically, is garum. It was fermented fish sauce. Yeah. Uh, Kaicho. Um, I, I hope the episode does well because we have a surprise in that episode. But also yes. the ketchup in general. Like I know we did a ketchup tasting here. Right. Uh, last <clears throat> year. Um, but there's some similarities there. We're gonna talk about mushroom ketchup. Mushroom and, ketchup. And walnut ketchup. Yeah. 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 Big um, announcement on that episode. So make sure to watch. Um, but besides that. Uh, and you have upcoming trip. Um, Besides that, I'm just well. We we got sick for a while, and uh, we did we get got, COVID. Both got COVID, and so I fell behind on work. Yeah. So now I'm like all day, every day, just trying to get caught up and ahead of things, so I can have videos come out while I'm in Scott while I am in Scotland. Yeah. So honestly, we probably still getting my voice back. You probably would have had two drinking, at least a few more drinking history. Yeah. Now, um, the bars that we're at but uh you got sick and you know there's not going to be a two episode week for a while i yeah. think max uh, is playing I've... ketchup and playing ketchup it's with max and Jose. <laughs> but um yeah i don't know and i just want to say again thank you so much for sticking around and all the new people and i promise what's the scale sign again i always forget i was a scout for like a year I think it's two fingers. Is it two fingers? Or maybe it's three fingers. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, There's Cub Scouts and then Boy Scouts, and I don't think they're the same. I don't know. You forgot Eagle Scouts. Is, do they have a different... I don't know. Maybe the Eagle Scout erasure is too much. But uh, I think there are things, so I don't know. I didn't get to the Eagle Scout. Either guy. I didn't even get to Boy Scouts. <laughs> but anyway, so thank you all for just hanging about. Um, thank you for watching Max on his main channel. And if you're here still watching, please take care of yourself. Leave your comments. Um, nice comments. <laughs> I'll take the mean ones too. I'll just see you next year. <laughs> um, we should do a mean comments episode. Max, we, I get plenty of mean comments. Oh yeah, but I you should. Those. I know, but you should at least uh, take no. a screenshot, and then we can do a mean comments thing. You know what'll actually hurt my feelings and what I can laugh off. What? I'm very sensitive. No, I mean you know what. Oh, so okay. Like not the, the ones that I can ones. laugh off. We can go through. It's, I get to curate. You know, he's he's very good. That's a great idea, me, actually. So. Max reads mean comments. Max reads mean comments. We, but we can also do the ones that where they're flirting with you and they're like, oh, like you're so cute. Yeah, those are also yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Mix it in. Yeah. Like the I like I like the one that Henry Cavill did. You, did you watch that one? No. Oh, I love Henry Cavill. Anyway, um, oh, uh, I think before we go, be right back. Oh, you're taking him from his new rug. We gotta pay the cat tax. Hi, Jamie. Uh, Jamie's gotten really big. He has. Uh, he, you know, at the new place, he's taken advantage of that his sister's food, her food. Yeah, he still. has full access to his sister's food, and it's it's been rough. Yeah, but look at how. But he is. has settled in very well, whereas Cersei lives under the bed. Very Cersei like, but I mean, we see her sometimes at night. She sleeps on me because he's warm. <laughs> okay. But anyway, thank you, friends. Thank, thanks, <clears throat> thanks for staying here and watching and supporting Max. And please, every Tuesday, uh, tune in. Yes. And we'll see you next time. Next time, and we'll get back to like a, a regular cadence of of going over old episodes and stuff. Oh yeah, next episode's more of that. He promises. <laughs> I, was, I was just about to say I actually don't promise that, but he promised it for me. So there we go. There you go. Say bye, Jamie. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>